Hey guys, Gold the Writer here, and welcome to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know it's been a while, I know I missed a couple, I'm sorry, I've been having uh, problems lately, and so it's been a little bit of a, you know, motiva motivational issue trying to get myself to make these videos. But, anyways, I'm back with a new pack that I'm actually, I was really excited for, and uh, I'm really glad that it's here now. Um, let's give a little pet to Icarus. I almost called him Senu. Okay. So, anyways, we are here today with the Oracle Pack. Um, we're going to go into photo mode here so that we can get a better look at this. Whoa. Let's get a little bit more of a zoom in. So, as you can see, this new pack does a couple of interesting things with your character. Um, it gives you a white beard. And if we go and if we go into inventory here and remove it, you can see that Alexios's hair is completely white. So he literally looks like an old man. I think they might have added sort of wrinkles to his face. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they made him look older, which is really cool. This is literally what an old Alexios would look like. Um, and as you can see, there's also markings all over his body. It's on his hands, on his arms, on his chest, and obviously on his face. Which is pretty cool. It's, it's a little weird, but, you know, it, it really fits with the style of this set. Um, let me put the hood back on so I can show it to you. So, as you can see from the, from the hood here... The hood actually covers his eyes, which is a part of the whole thing of oracles not needing vision in order to have sight. Um, it's pretty interesting. The whole the whole set is pretty interesting. This is actually, I believe, this is the very first time that you can be completely barefoot in the game. Which is really weird, but again, it kind of goes with the oracle aesthetic. Um, you're fairly bare-chested. Uh, you have, like, you know, a couple bands, and you have this little cloth over your shoulder. Um, you got this interesting little pouch right here. If we go around to the back. Um, you have a pretty cool, like, band coming out the back that has little frills that move around when you run. The gauntlets are pretty interesting. Um, and the hood itself is pretty cool. Like, I, I, again, I really like it covering his eyes. I kind of wish that they had, um, made his eyes white. Uh, so that he could be blind like most oracles are supposed to be. Um, I feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity, but they already did that recently with, uh, the Hercules pack. So I understand why they didn't do it again. Um, but yeah, the look of this set is really cool. Uh, let's get into the stats, though, because the stats are... Eh, they're okay. So, as you can see, this is a hunter set, so every piece of armor is going to give you hunter damage. Now, the overall armor set is 70% all resistances after a perfect dodge, which, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't feel that useful to me. I mean, I do perfect dodges quite a bit, but even still, it... Like, it doesn't even give you an indicator of how long it lasts. It's probably not that long, and... You know, if it was, like, something about 70% to all resistances, that would be better, but... The fact that it's only during perfect dodges isn't that good to me. Um... But anyways, the hood has... Uh, crit chance while full health. The... The arms have crit damage while full health. The waist has headshot damage. The chest has bow charging speed. And the legs have damage with bow charge shot. All of which are pretty good for a, a, um, a hunter build. But again, that that overall uh, ability, the armor set ability, just kind of makes it... It's just not that good, in my opinion. Um, and we move over to the sword, which is a pretty interesting sword. I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, it again has hunter damage. It has uh, damage on animals, which isn't that good either, because, you know, you, you fight animals sometimes, but for the most part you're going to be fighting against other people. So this literally only works when you're fighting against animals. And it has 25% crit chance with predator shot ability, which, I mean, if you use that ability, 
that's pretty decent. Um, but overall, the set itself is... The, the appearance of the set is really cool, but the perks are kind of a letdown for this one. Um, it would have been better to have something more interesting than just crit chance with a specific ability. Um, but speaking of that sword, uh, let's... Okay, let's get... There we go. So if you look at the sword, this is a really cool looking sword. You have, like, the skull of, like, an elk with, like, the horns coming up to form the, the like, hilt of the blade. And then, you know, you have this really cool intricate design going through the blade itself. And the handle looks like it... Oh, it let me... It looks like it might actually be made from a horn itself, from the looks of it. So, overall, it's it's very cool, and it works... It, it's probably one of my favorite uh, sword designs. It's just such an interesting-looking sword. Um, so, I'm definitely going to be using the appearances from this set, because the appearances are really good. And not only the appearances for the sword and armor are good, but the new mount that you get is really cool. So, we're going to drop down here, and I'm going to show you guys the new mount. Here it comes... Yeah, so we finally have a new animal for the mounts. So this one is an elk, and as you can see, it has glowing eyes. It's like a sacred, magical elk, and it's just so cool. It has like this little like bead on its head, which is really interesting, and then like it's got the prints all around it, and you know, a piece of cloth on it. And overall, it's just really cool looking. And it's really cool to have a new animal type as a mount. Because before, we had horses, and then they added bulls, and we got two bull mounts. So this is, like, the first time in a while that we've gotten a new animal. And it's a really cool one. I I'm just so happy about this one. There is, sadly, no new ship pack with this one. I would have shown it off if there was one, but unfortunately, we don't have one. So all that's left of this episode is for us to go over to Cassandra and play come on, come on. and play around with that outfit. So get ready for the fast forward music. Okay, so here we are with Cassandra wearing the set. It looks pretty cool on her, in my opinion. Um, if we're going to zoom in here for a bit. Um, as you can see, she has the same kind of uh, like uh, weird like strap bra thing that she has with the Athena set. And other than that, it's pretty much the same, but I feel like it does look pretty good on her. I, mean, I didn't even notice this on Alexios, but there's some nice rings on there. And overall, it's a really cool looking, like, outfit, just all around. Um, I also feel like the set, like, the hair looks a bit cooler on Cassandra. Um, if you just look at her without that, without the head on, like, it's pretty cool seeing her with, like, white hair. Um, so I feel like that's pretty cool. Overall, this is... A really cool looking set that's brought down by having pretty bad specs on it. Like the the skills and attributes and everything, the engravings are just not very good on this set. But the appearance itself is very good. So if you mainly get these for the appearance, which is kind of what I do, um, then this is definitely a set that you want to get your hands on. Um, but if you're looking for, you know, bonuses, like set bonuses and stuff from this set, you're probably not going to be too happy with this one. Um, that's going to do it for this video. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video, and tell all your friends. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye, be good.